Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be looking at a tool called Magic Path. So now Magic Path is a, you know, tool that I found on Twitter uh, from Pietro Schirano. Um, I've been following his account for quite a while. He had this other tool, it was called, it's called EverArt and I've used it for quite a few clients. I've used it for two clients, I think, um, basically generating different photos and then basically create different styles, like different photo shoots based on this product, right? So this is just like a reference. You can see the original photo and then you can see that these are generated um, in different as, as different product shots, right? So I discovered this guy basically because of this tool, but now basically I found out that he made this new design, like vibe coding slash design tool that has like an infinite canvas and you can also export the code so maybe, you know, you can bring it into something like Lovable or something like that. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try it today just to see how it how it looks like. And as you can see, once you're logged in, so I literally just logged in and you can see you have 50 out of 50 components left. You can switch this to be light or dark mode. Let's just switch it to light mode for now. And then we have components, new components. We have some welcome to Magic Path, create refine and explore with AI. Let's get started. Okay, so what do you want to create? Create a simple sign and a card, simple note-taking app, one component, landing page for my chatbot app, music player card with spinning album cover. Let's just do that. Actually, let's just do something different. So we can write something like a web app that allows users to write and save notes and drawings. So let's click on submit over here. We can also add this, add images, right? We can add images from our device, which is pretty cool. We, we probably can try it out now. But basically what it does is it, it creates one component, right? So let's just wait for this to finish. So it says creating component, planning design, creating sidebar navigation. So it goes step by step. And eventually, I guess you can even adjust the widths. I, I, I'm clicking on Command Z, but it doesn't work. You know, just trying some stuff out. I really like the design, by the way. It looks very comfortable, but yeah, let's just wait for this to load. And while this loads, I can, you know, click around over here. This side panel disappears. I can move around. I can edit the color of the background to be something darker. I can put this dotted texture so that it looks kind of like a fig jam type of look. I can click on this plus sign and a new component pops up. And I can basically move this around like this, put it right next to the other one and click on this chat button over here. And we can, you know, create something else at the same time. So let's just, you know, um, try to wait for these to finish. And by the way, oh, look, we already have this one finished So notes and sketches app. So let me just click on this, move this around like that, like so. And what happens if I go like this? Oh, wow. That's that's crazy. It adapts to the responsiveness. And I just want to see, so we have different options up here. We can continue asking the magic path or the, you know, prompt to basically continue adjusting certain things here in this chat mode. We can also edit the component. So if I were to go here, I can change the appearance, the text color, you know, the background color of this specific button. Yeah, so you can see, looks like that. Let's just keep it black for now. And the other one also generates, so we'll come back to that right now. But yeah, basically we have edit component, which we just saw, which we can just go here and edit certain things very quickly. We have this create flow. And I guess we can just connect components with other components. Describe the new components, new components. Let's put a, click on enter. And then it basically opens up a new component and, and is basically drafting that up. But um, yeah, let's just see the, what, what else is here. So we have the create flow, which I just tested, create variants. That might also be interesting modify with a prompt or auto variance we can try as well and then we have this at the very top which is open in, new, in a new tab oh wow look the variants are 
are opening up right here. Let's just make sure to move everything around so that it's not, you know, unorganized. And that's the cool thing about this, you know, unlimited canvas that you can just move things around like, like this, right? So let's move this to the top like this. Let's keep the flow thing down here. And this one is going to be our new app at the bottom. And yeah, I just wanted to check this out. So if we were to open in a new tab, it would look like this. Okay, wow, and it already like works. Look, it's not like plain and look at that. You can click on save and it saves here. And it basically saves to the browser. If I refresh this, okay, it goes away, but that's no problem. Um, it's pretty interesting. I mean, these things don't work yet, but already for just the first draft, it's pretty good. Let's go back here. And here we have this editor page. I wonder if we click on the thing here, save note. Okay, it saves. But I wonder how this works with the, you know, working in tandem with these two things. So this this uh, flow thing, I don't really understand yet. Maybe there's a good way to kind of understand this. Okay, and to share the code, to view the code, you actually need to have a pro plan, which is fair, you know, but I, I really want to kind of test this out to see how this looks like you know, it, working with tools like Lovable, for example. Okay, so I just paid for it, you know. So let's just go on, let's start building. We generated the different variants and the variants don't look so different from each other. I guess it, it would be best to generate a variant that would be, that you would have to describe, right? So let's just delete these so that we don't have anything. It's not so confusing. Let's just delete all of this delete, delete, click on delete over here. And now what I really want to try is view code. So we have this view code and it's a lot of code. What happens if I just copy this? Would it copy the entire code? I don't think so. So this is the part that I would like to see how it would work when it comes to working with Lovable. So we have the editor mod model, we have the main content area, notes and drawings, notification toast, and sidebar. So what I can start doing is just, you know, let's just do it from scratch. Let's just copy this code. Let's just see if, if, if Lovable can understand. And I want to see, okay, I pasted all of this. And I believe it's just that one file. Yeah. So editor model. Okay, so it says message, message is too long exceeded by 12 uh, 1281 characters. So yeah, uh, let's, I guess we can't really send it. So I'd have to kind of cut this a little bit. I mean, I'd have to cut this by 1278 characters, which is a lot. So what I can do is I can maybe bring this into Claude and see if Claude can do something about it. So I'm going to say, you know, help me compress this code in a way so it doesn't exceed the character limit. Let's see what Claude does. This is basically Claude Sonnet um, 4 and Lovable uses this as well. So Lovable's quality has gotten much better and it also exceeds the length. So that's, that's the issue here. That's the thing that I was kind of, you know, nervous about. But I guess what we can do is we can maybe start step by step. And instead of building the whole thing, we can start off with the editor model. So let's see if, if Lovable can even understand it. Again, this is very noob, just, you know, playing out different things just to see if it works. I don't think it's going to work. I'm just curious to see how this goes when you just copy uh, step by step, right? Not the whole thing at once, but just step by step. But damn, it would be insane if this was if this had a really nice integration with something like Lovable, um, because it works really well, the design is very nice. And this looks, 
you know, very easy to edit everything. Um, I, I really like it a lot, actually. It looks pretty nice. You can even, you know, select certain things and use AI over here to, to uh, help you with the design. So make the button shorter, click on generate, and then it's gonna generate and see how long it takes. I mean, it didn't really work, but you know, I guess it's trying its best, right? So, or maybe we didn't really even do a good job with, with uh, selecting the correct div over here, but um, overall, it's a very interesting app to, to test out. So yeah, Lovable didn't really do such a good job um, with this, you know, one file of code. I think it understands kind of what it wants to do. So rich text, text notes and digital drawing, but it didn't really bring in the, the design that we have that's really nice here in Magic Path, right? For, for free, you can basically create 50 different designs and, you know, it's, it's quite complicated to export the code and bring it to some type of no code um, you know, AI platform, if you're a beginner in code. Um, but basically what you could do is you can take a screenshot like this, for example, and bring it in as well. That, that can help as well. All right. And if we insert the screenshot, it actually does a really good job in kind of understanding the design, which is great, right? It's a little bit different, um, but it works. <laughs> you can save this, for example, and kind of the design uh, looks pretty good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.